गुड मॉर्निंग सर डॉक्टर चिन्मय सर डॉक्टर चिन्मय चक्रवर्ती सर एम आई ऑडेबल गुड मॉर्निंग सर डॉक्टर चिन्मय चक्रवर्ती सर टुडे थैंक्स फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग अवर इनविटेशन फॉर दिस एफ टी पी प्रोग्राम ऑन ए टॉपिक ऑफ इनोवेशन इन टेलीकॉम इंडस्ट्री एंड एंटरप्रनरशिप स्कोप्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग जॉइनिंग विथ अस सर आई जस्ट गो थ्रू योर प्रोफाइल सर डॉक्टर चिन्मय चक्रवर्ती सर इज एस एम आई ट्रिपल ई एंड एम ए सी एम सर इज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट बिर्ला इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मिश्रा इंडिया ही कंप्लीटेड ए पोस्ट डॉक्टोरियल फेलो एट ए फेडरल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ पाय ब्रिजल ही वर्क एज ए रिसर्च कंसलटेंट इन द कोल इंडिया प्रोजेक्ट एट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट आई आई टी करकपुर sir worked as a project coordinator of the telecommunication convergence uh, switch project under the indo us joint in initiative uh, sir also worked as a network engineer in systems administration at mispl india uh, sir has a main research interest includes the internet of medical uh, things uh, aml communications and computing telemedicine m health e health and medical imaging Dr Chakravarty has widely published 200 plus articles in peer reviewed international journals conferences book chapters 25 plus uh, books and 5 plus patents and 20 plus special issues in the field uh, with a google h index of 37 i index uh, 10 and uh, 96 uh, scopus uh, with the h index 27 uh, along with uh, isi uh, wos h index of 23 Sir is an editorial board member in different journals and conferences. Uh, he serves as an associate editor of IEEE uh, TII and IEEE JBHI, Indonesian Journal of uh, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Journal of Biomedical and Biological Sciences, uh, HCIS and Springer BMC, Bioinformatics, JIFS, uh, International Journal of uh, End User Computing and Development. International Journal of Strategic Engineering and uh, lead guest editor of IEEE uh, JBHI and IEEE TCE and IEEE TII IEEE SMC Magazine IEEE uh, TCSS and IEEE TBD IC ACM uh, TALIP ACM JDIQ uh, Hindwai JHE uh, Mary and uh, Libyant Libert big data uh, journal jigi and ije hmc uh, springer mtap uh, cmc and interscience uh, ijnt journal of medical imaging and uh, health informatics elsewhere healthcare informatics ijm ssc and uh, camas etc sir is the guest editors of mi mdpi fi and uh, ville itl Uh, BSR Springer, ANT, and IJSAEM, EDS, and I, uh, IET Networks, etc. And sir uh, also has a lead book series editor of CRC in uh, advances in uh, smart uh, healthcare technologies. He has conducted a ses uh, sessions on of S O C T A nineteen and I C I C C nineteen and Springer C I S twenty. Uh, CVO CTA twenty and SVO uh, C PAR twenty and general chair of EAI um, PAR SOM twenty twenty three and also a reviewer for international journals including IEEE Access IEEE Sensors IEEE uh, TETCI IEEE TII IEEE JBHI IEEE Sensors IEEE uh, IOTJ And uh, elsewhere, uh, Springer, uh, Springer, and Taylor and Francis, 
IGI, Elsewhere, and Willy, etc. Dr. Chakrabarti is a co, uh, co editing uh, for several books in IOMT and uh, healthcare technology and sensor data analytics with Elsewhere, uh, Elsewhere and uh, CRC Press, IET, uh, as well as uh, Pan Stanford, IGI Global, and Springer. Sir also served as a publicity chair member at renowned international conferences, including IEEE Healthcom, uh, IEEE SPDLT. He is a member of ACM and a senior member of IEEE. Sir also received a Best Session Runner Up Award, a Young Research Excellent Award, Global Peer Review Award, Young Faculty Award, Outstanding Researcher Award, Outstanding Paper in the 2022 in Emerald uh, Literary Awards, and recipient of Mary. Mm, Skolo Odowska Curie Actions and Europe Fellowship Horizon 2023 and nominated uh, as a prominent young researcher and National Frontiers of Engineering Symposium, uh, National Academy of Engineering, uh, Serb in Government of India in 24th June 2023 and uh, secured uh, rank one among 500 authors at Bits, uh, Bit Misra uh, in uh, SCI VAL elsewhere published by the scopus.com 2023. Sir also selected as one of the top 2% of the scientists in the world in the field of artificial intelligence and image processing from the Stanford University USA in, from in uh, 2021 and 2022. Uh, sir, I am uh, really uh, very much uh, thankful to you to be a part of our uh, guest speaker for today's FDP, sir. We are really appreciate uh, what are the success story, uh, successful uh, achievements in your uh, endeavors. So thank you so much, sir. Over to you, sir. Uh, yes, you are made as a co-host. Yeah, made as a co-host. So you can uh, share your uh, screen, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, very good morning uh, and uh, thank you. So can I share the screen? Yes, sir. The host disabled participants team is here. Kindly enable it. Yes, share. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Now you are co-host, sir. Yes, sir. Your screen is visible, sir. Yeah. So very good morning, uh, all of you. And first of all, I would like to thanks to the organizer and specifically Dr. T. Padma. And uh, also, I would like to thanks to Dr. Anil Budati. For nominating me for this event and uh, today means we are going to discuss some basics of the telecommunications and i have done some work uh, with iit Kharagpur and during my master's session actually so this work basically for innovation in telecommunication industry and entrepreneurship schools. So this is the outline of the today's presentation. And I believe that is all of you very much aware related to this dimension for telecommunication and entrepreneurship. So first of all, we would like to discuss the basics of the telecommunications and what are the major challenges and based on that and you can find out the scope of the work in future. So telecommunication trends and innovations this is part one and part two we will discuss uh, I mean, so next generation telecom networks. Next how to how to establish the path when we are transmitting the data over the wired path Wired path means the circuits use based uh, networks. And another one is the routing and scheduling. So, the another important area. 
in circuit switch based background. And next part, this is the revenue. So as a telecommunication engineer or researcher, our objective is that, that is how to maximize the revenue of the systems, how to give the better flexibility to the customers, and how to minimize the congestion level, how to minimize the call waiting time. So these are the some parameters are involved. Step by step, we will discuss there. And the point here that is a performance evaluation and definitely based on some yeah, means important parameters will evaluate the performance in the help of the market model. And here that is a market precision theory we will consider and we will discuss accordingly. First, the recent trains of the telecommunication. And see the time for the fifth generation cellular structure. And 2020 20 vision, we are already in the green communication technology. We are belonging under the green communication technologies. And we have heard that these terms, we have all of you, I personally believe all of you are very much familiar with these kind of terms like the first one, the Internet of Things. And Kevin Eston, probably in the 1999, they invented the IoT. And then the connecting. Means of connectivity technology, definitely. Anyhow, we need to increase our speed of the communication systems. So that's why the proper connectivity, proper interfacing is highly recommended. And the five to the fifth generation simple structure is also be associated with this. AIML, these are the one of the another area. And nowadays, because of that, anyhow, we have to take the proper decision. That means that is an adaptive decision based on the different feature values. So that's a proper clustering mechanism is highly recommended. So that's why AIML plays a big role in this case. High, high resolution content is also be there. Cyber security, you know, that is how to secure the data during the transmission in a superior way. And if we if we are going to store the data in the server, so that's the end of the day, it will create some problem because of that, that is a uh, means occupied the total bandwidth, occupied the all data. So, server is going to the pool. So, in that case, that is a cloud computing platform is highly So, that's why if we consider the Internet of Things and in that case, that is a cloud computing, cloud computing, even edge computing, is a secure computing structure and highly efficient also. So, in that case, we can consider. And proper communication model is highly recommended. And SDN, you know, that is a software defined networks and it's computing it today. So, number one, this is uh, means your Internet of Things. So, Internet of Things, see, Internet of Things that means interconnection between the devices, sensor, infrastructure, and community, communicating enables. So, that means things means the objects. So several number of objects are there in telecommunication sector. How to ensemble these kind of objects, how to monitor, how to manage in a superior way. So in that case, that this implementation work can be done in, in the help of the industry 4.0 also. People are thinking the industry 4.0. So for implementation of the proper telecommunication networks, this is the big challenge. That is how to map with the industry 4.0. What is the concept behind it? So that's why industry 4.0 and telecommunication and the advancement of the telecommunication systems from this era, you can generate some different kind of interference and scopes also. Connectivity technology, that is in ICT, you know, that is a deployment of the communication technologies is very critical in today's IT environment for increasing the data volume. Because of that, in our hand, that the massive data is there. So how to handle the massive data? So that means this is a large, large data model. And these data can be generated from the different kind of objects. I told you this is the device also. So that's why high quality digital data handling. This is the one of the biggest challenges. Those are mainly dealing with the triple play services. Triple play services. That means audio video data. Clear. And 5G networks, that means the next upgrade of the telecommunication network and devices. So in this case, that is a massive, massive type communication 5G networks provide the high density 
Internet of Things from industrial Internet of Things to smartphone. Okay. So 5G is the one of the most important upcoming technology for trends of the telecommunication sectors. AI and ML, mostly this is the another area in big telecom trends can be taken impact into the industry. So digital transformation require the extraction of the meaningful information from the data. We are having a large set of data and you need to extract the only useful data. And so that's why that is a data synthesis. This is the one of the another area. And AI solution resolve the network performance is definitely because of that we have, we have to take, we have to provide the better uh, decision uh, taking system. So that's why AI ML plays a big role. And you know that is a novel telecommunication help the business set up new types of the information media such as virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality also in the help of the cloud and cloud based gaming systems. So that's why in the high speed transmission can be possible for transmitting the high resolution content with low latency. So that's why we have to develop the high capacity telecommunication networks. Another portion in the cyber security. The increasing number of cyber attacks, and we know that it, during the transmission, different kind of attacks will arise. So our objective is that that is how to minimize the this kind of attacks. Okay, so that's all like noise, like data. Okay, and uh, so increasing number of the cyber attacks and low security IoT devices, the new CPU hardware vulnerabilities and growing dependence on the computing infrastructure and security is challenging. So startup innovate the industrial networks by allowing systems to remain dynamic when faced with the attacks and vulnerability. And edge computing is the most efficient computing computation platform and data storage unit. And this is mostly associated with the centralized in the cloud. So it improves the quality of the experience. And in telecommunication, in telecommunication, two parameters, one parameter is there, this is known as the class of service. In wireless communication, this is known as the quality of service. When we are processing the data over the packetized based environment, in that case, we need to measure the quality of the service. And E, we transmitting the data over the circuit switch based network, specifically for telecommunication, in that time that they were measured, you see the class of service or grade of service or congestion related. So that's why, you, anyhow, that they, you need to improve the quality of the experience in the help of the means your age driven computing systems for end users for lower data exchange requirements. With the cloud computing, and already we have discussed, communication model, the spread of the smart and uh, IoT devices also leaves to increase the communication channels like massive to massive. So massive, massive to massive systems, vehicle to vehicle or vehicle to everything, it's and device to device, that is in 2017. Uh, we said this one device to device uh, communication based uh, uh, paperwork. And as soon as that, how to interact with the human to machine in an easy way. So that's why, anyhow, we need to develop a superior communication model where we can transmit the data in an easy way with clarity uh, and with bandwidth efficiency. Bandwidth efficiency means that is a you need to improve the bandwidth efficiency in terms of like if, if you see that it means uh, you use a Sanom theory, simple the Sanom theory. Sanom theory says that your capacity can do bandwidth into log of one plus a set of time. Clear? So capacity over bandwidth you can do log of one plus a set of time. So capacity over bandwidth is known as the eta. The eta means your bandwidth efficiency. Then somehow that is in bandwidth efficiency and power efficiency you need to improve or in the help of the communication model. And as well as that you get different in the, in the help of the other uh, methods that you need for filterization uh, method. So you need to minimize, you have to minimize that, your noise of the systems. And SDN, probably you have heard it, it is increasing the digital environment because of the digital transformation and entrepreneurship effect, uh, of course. So in that case, that is anyhow, we need to develop the proper business model. So it requires the high performing extensive network operations. A startup can develop the SDN to improve the network performance. Okay. So, three major uh, technological innovations for anyone, whatever, that's for my knowledge, and probably you are much more familiar with this. So, innovation mainly depends on the digitization. 
and computer rails and incidents and innovation in internet while communication packet based next generation network leading to the convergence of the services and previously i, I worked on a project in iit which is the telecom convergence which tcs and i was the project coordinator and this is the in the us project in that time that is i worked basically that way. how to heterogeneous networks and how to keep the better flexibility to the users. Is it audible? Yes, sir. Okay. So in that case, that is a uh, next point, the innovation related to the information communication technology, generic technology to be designed Personalize the production and administration transaction process. How to do the smooth transaction? See the one of the biggest challenge. And how to create the new process? New process means new applications. Because of that, we are now we are belonging to belonging to the packetized based environment. But now in this uh, presentation of this packetized uh, program, this is basically the wired network means your circuit switch. Uh, based networks. So that's why that is a your entrepreneurship innovation model uh, functioning uh, of the information communication technology. It's the enterprises of our part where all structures should be related to the consumer and act in that direction of achieving highest degree of satisfaction. So general people they are thinking that it is okay, that is a low cost communication is better. Uh, so somehow your customers should be the satisfied. So that's why we, as an engineer, we need to think the how to give the better flexibility to the user. Flexibility, this is the one of the parameter that belongs under the class of service or rate of service, you can say, or if you consider means of the packetized based environment. So in that case, you can say the quality of the service. So anyhow, these are the biggest parameter for uh, measuring the quality of the network. Uh, in this interconnection system, that means the combination of financial, labor, financial, international, organizational, attract, ensure attracted, broad, and their own resources, facility, opportunity, they provide when applied to the production process of implementation, innovative to the other area. So, innovation, this is come when you know the basic fundamental of the communication systems, like today means we will discuss some brief of the revenue generation. So the revenue generation, this is the one of the biggest tax. And in this scenario, that means this is the C, this is the means India telecommunication market by tile that will maximize the market research privately limited. And in this scenario, you see that in your DPSC, your urban telecommunication systems that will get the number of customers. Uh, rather than the rural area, but you see that it is slightly changing. 2017, probably the rural area will be high. Because of that, that is a for establishment of the wire. This is the most costly for telecommunication for establishing the wire. But somehow, that is a, in the help of the modern technologies like IoT, IMA, data science. So, in using this kind of scenario, somehow that is a, this is the predictive result for the rural area in 2000. Uh, 27 onwards, it will be increasing in wealth sectors. So now we'll discuss means uh, we are going to discuss the part of analysis of the telephony gateway over the heterogeneous networks. So before going to present the uh, this topic, so first we have to find out the, what is the difference between your packetized based network and circuit switch based network. Circuit switch based network means your dedicated path is required to us. But packetized based environment, no need to require the data. is required by agreement for circuit switch, but dynamic packet is required for your packetized based environment. And potentially, what's the bandwidth for circuit switch? Yes, packet switch, no. stored in forward transmission, this facility only is available for packetized based environment, but there is no option for your wire based. Systems, and call setup is required because of that. This is the wire path. If one user is occupied this wire path, so another user is still in the queue, 
after clearing the path and then they can communicate after clearing the existing path. So, but for packet style based network, that is no need for uh, means so call setup scenario. Okay. So in that case, that is a telephony gateway. Gateway means gateway means what? That is a gateway means the intermediate device. And you know that in OSI structure, you know that the seven layers are associated with this, and some below layer, some the repeater and hub. Uh, this device belongs to the physical layer and data link layer, your bridge and switch. Uh, and third layer means your router, uh, uh, router is a device. So these are the means uh, some devices belongs under the which layer we will discuss. But gateway, that means this is the intermediate, intermediate device. Gateway act as an intermediate device for receiving the data from the source and transferring the data to the destination. Heterogeneous network means two types of network. One is homogeneous, same set of networks. We are not following the same set of networks. One means homogeneous. Because of that, homogeneous is very much simple to the Heterogeneous network. The first of next generation networks. Next generation network means is providing the seamless convergence services from telecommunication, inter internet, and broadcasting. And coexisting with the PSTN. PSTN means you know this is uh, means a public switch telephone network that under the PBX private branch exchange. It supports the technical services, audio, video, and data, and improves the cost effectiveness. So Heterogeneous network means our objective is there that is how to transfer the data from telecommunication from packetized to circuit switch based network or telecommunication to the mobile based network. So that's why the VIP we have considered. So VIP means you know, this is the voice over internet protocol. It consists of that is several number of protocols like the SIP, H.323, Mega QA, Mega QA. Uh, Okay, others also be there, but in this case, that is the SIP and H.323 we have considered. SIP means session in system protocol very much to create, to modify, to terminate the session as soon as possible. So that's why SIP session in system protocol that belongs under the QIP we have considered. And it supports the multimedia, it supports supporting for uh, carrying the multimedia content lightweight and easily extended and upgraded. I assume in this the ISDM part, integrated service service uh, user part that belongs under the circuits in this networks. And three means this is means your telecommunication routing information protocol. And this is the telephony gateway registration protocol. How to register the gateway with the proxy? That means this is the TGI. Yeah. So see the diagram is the next generation architecture. We'll find out for the take white paper and switching device and take that is the protocol server. So in that case, that is a Four layer architecture is there. In that layer, first layer is the service layer. Service means your application layer. layer. So, there, so this layer basically upper layer, there is no problem because of that. We are giving the application facilities to the customers. But it's control layer, we are controlling the data. So in that case, your media gateway controller. And here, that is the idea proposed. That means PSTN EI, PSTN IP, telephony gateway okay, for faster communication technology. In that case, you see this is the IP packet service, you know, and the third layer architecture. And here that you transport layer in network layer that is associated with this via tree also. Tree means that is a for routing, I mean, processing the routing information in other networks. But in this circuit switch based network, that means this is the wireless communication, the wireless to wire network means in that case, signaling gateway is required. So signaling gateway is required. So signaling gateway, to ESTN or PBX, in that case, S7 signaling scheme act as an interface, like a signaling system number seven, act as an interface for transferring the packetized based data to the circuit switch based data. Okay. So, in that case, that is, we have, uh, in that case, we have surveyed uh, various protocol conversion techniques like uh, your SIP to PSTN, SIP to ISO. Means your integrated services user part or integrated services user part to SIP. End of the day, that is we have measured the end to end part delay. That means your end to end performance we have analyzed. So SIP and uh, integrated services user part mapping with open uh, source asterisk is not verified yet. So that's why we have considered for the business also. Verification and validation is highly recommended for this one. Existing gateway provides a good performance for small business or residences, but not generalized. 
and most of the existing works does not provide the optimal performance analysis for uh, for minimum blocking probability. In the telecommunication means congestion is the one of the biggest star, and if congestion increases, in that case, the blocking probability also will increases. If blocking probability increases, that means your call waiting time it also be increases. So end of the day, your customer is not satisfied. So in that case, that is it. Uh, means. Uh, I have used for markup model for optimize, uh, optimizing the features. So in that case, that is for optimal performance. In that case, that is yeah, again, you know, we can minimize the blocking probability so customer is somehow satisfied. Okay. So objective mainly to design and develop the VST IP telephony gateway model to assist the routing packet while ensuring the low blocking probability with respect to call arrival rate. Call arrival rate actually here. You, have to consider, you can consider the poison distribution also, lambda. So, lambda, if, if you lambda is the call arrival rate, lambda, and call depart rate is mean. So, that's why call arrival subtracted by the call depart over call arrival. So, lambda minus mean y lambda, this is the load of the systems. So, anyhow, you have to minimize the load. Okay? So, this work includes that is the end to end path setup using protocol comparison and Proposal of the three quality of the service based network I means so packet scheduling and routing schemes. Already, I mean, so we have, um, means so we are going to discuss in this scenario. And uh, in that case, your first contribution basically we have implemented the proposed protocol conversion method and we have tested with the asterisk quality of the service performance or packet scheduling. And end of the day, we have compared. End of the day, we have compared the performance of uh, uh, outcome of heterogeneous data. So, first part, this is the modeling and the simulation of the inter inter working interface function IW for protocol conversion. And second part, this is the gateway selection and packet routing. So first, your end to end path set up using the protocol conversion. In, in this scenario, you see this is your main PST and IP telephony model architecture for heterogeneous devices. Your left hand side figure, you see this is means your UIP, and I inform you that is a UIP SIP means SIP server. That means SIP, SIP server means it belongs under the it belongs under the voice over internet thing. Oh, sorry, voice over internet product. Okay, and right hand side, we see the through the intermediate device. So, in that case, that is the first you see your SIP client is there, and you can acquire the data from the SIP client. Suppose you get the number, and this data is processed to the stored in QIP framework, like your SIP server. And what indexing here? Indexing means you're finding the root. And I told you that the routing and scheduling is the one of the biggest challenge for now. Sector is there, one is the it process to the media gateway multiple this is NGC. It process to the signaling gateway using in the part YP and the rest the signaling gateway. You process the data to the STP. It's the signaling transfer point. In the MPP message transfer protocol. And this data is mapped to the switch, and your BBX client receives the data. Then SIP client would like to send. So, in between, we have to find out this rule. So, that's why we have designed the interworking function. So, you can smoothly transfer the data from government to the telecommunication or telecommunication sector to the database based environment. So, this is the complete model. Okay, and this model is purely standardized by the IIT. IIT means that is your engineering task. Okay. Next, next, these are the uh, parameters are involved. In this scenario, you see some commands. 
Suppose just for the thing. Right hand side is left hand side source, right hand side is the resonance. The source would like to transmit the data to the best message, whatever you know from the data communication side. So after receiving the request message, use acknowledge after receiving the acknowledgement means okay path is ready now you can transmit and then you can transmit this will be if you are not getting any kind of data that means definitely you can send the in the red color means so negative error similarly for this one for you sip message this the commands basically for invite invites a user to a call Transactions completed successfully. It's used for meet session signal. And the right hand side, these are the comments basically. And your main side, yeah. Next slide you see this is the message content basically your MTC. Okay, so in that case it consists of the one update field and this data is taken from the ITUT, International Telecommunication Union, ITUT standard, you search in Google, you will find out the common set. It consists of the I mean, so parameter like in your fixed parameter, the metadata parameter, variable parameters. Okay, so in the first case your first call initiation message. So what is the problem? So these are the problems. Call initiation message type code is one. Next call means address complete message. Next answer message. After completing the answer message, then you, you, you have to uh, means your destination end will send you the release message REL. That means the release message. And after receiving the release message also, and then you will find the release complete message. So that's why AM, ACM, ANM, REL, and RLs. These are the common from uh, means you can search from the standard ITUT uh, uh, message and so uh, standardized uh, body. See, this is the graphical structure for R39. That is first your suppose PST and user sending the data and PST and switch transmit the address. Message to the processor on the right hand side. Your packetized based environment is there. It receives the invite message. So, IM message, your circuit switch based. See the packetized based. Okay. IM message, this is a uh, circuit switch based command, and invite message is the packetized based SIP command. So, the integrated service is user for IM. And right, see after getting the invite message, then you then you associated with this after receiving the address complete message, and then you can send in the all progress message to the systems. So this is the two-way conversion can possible because of that in the above, above portion, there is no acknowledgement, uh, there is no negative acknowledgement are associated with this. And finally, after completing, after completion of the two-way two -way voice conversion, and then you then then you will find that is a, your REL by this kind of command, this, this kind of command is coming because of this kind of command is coming because of that call is already process. Similarly, for your flow, flow map, and in this case, first you read the integrated services user part message for identifying the message, for identifying the message, and in, in Okay, next to me, sorry for this. 
And in that case, your first your read uh, integrated services uh, part is message identifying the messages. So in the two ports, one is the initial address message, address complete message, and release message. And this part is one part. The next step, one part parameter to the SIP header. First, your header to header man means if you are sending the data from upper layer to lower layer. So each and every left hand side always just remember it. This the header side is there, and left hand side means this is the teller side. So header means header to header mapping is required. A trailer means it carrying control in purpose. Okay. So this one this is the flowchart of the integrated service user part in the SIP mapping. And next is the another uh, diagram. So this is this is the parameter set. Okay, it's based on the sending the invite commands and invite commands changing to the IAM command in between host and IP telephone gateway. This is our proposed method because of that, that is an intermediate device actually. That is how to convert in invite command slide. We have mentioned the different kind of command set. Okay. Next. Same same scenario for your uh, that is a read the SIP message, then identify the message, and this message invite. Invite means the header to header mapping purpose is the left hand side. And the right hand side, that means your code mapping is there. Then how next? That means your both of the communication system, both of the path establishment features already established based on the standardized player. Yeah. Next, in the help of the socket programming, in that case, middle part mgc.c, you can start with the socket programming. Maybe the .c, uh, .python, .c++, .java is available in your, uh, means your uh, Google also. You just add, put up your address and then based on that and you can transmit the data. So that's why this is the SIP right wing system by proxy systems, which is client C to client.c to server.c. And here to show the real time environment features protocol conversion between IP to BSDN. The validation work, the verification will be with the PITG, PSDN, IP telephone gateway model with the Western server. So, in that case, your left hand side, see this is the IP networks. This is the X light corner associated with this by SIP server, by SIP corner already associated with this. This data is coming to the asterisk server. Asterisk server connected with the PST and IP telephone gateway model. And here is connection means this is also connected with the MGC media gateway control. Yeah, MGCP media gateway control protocol also. Both are belonging under the PYP. And this PITC is connected with the interconnected with the PST networks. And here landline is there. So that's the first you dial the number and your landline also receiving this kind of features. So I'll show you the some screenshot. See that means your SIP phone ringing one two three four one two no, one two three four. We are dialing dialing one two three four from your extra X slide configuration. And this is the console means your server. It's and everything is there. And then your slide right hand side that you do we are receiving the data. This is uh, means your this is the register number. This is the registers uh, means your details and as, as well income we call from the SIP X slide soft one. We have already marked as the screenshot. And this is the means your, we are bringing to an expression. We are trying, so that's why this data is also uh, marked in this session. Next, it's the invite command. I I N B. This is the invite command. This is the application slash ISO. It's the services part. So this is the data features as this the results. See in the console, you are sending I M message. You are receiving these. See the console. 
is the invite commands actually. Actually, this is the result. And here, service discovery protocol is also suitable. This for provides the structured language for description describing the session. And previously, I worked with one language, just I'm sharing. This is known as Pinsure AS, abstract syntax notice. In the help of this, you can structure a structure as the structure is the help. And nowadays, people are working on the Python. It's okay. But previously, in 2006, I worked on AS. Similarly, it gives the similar, but features point of view, the flexibility point of view is Python better. But AS and abstract syntax notice is also the good uh, structure language system. So here we have considered the ASN model in the, for establishing the SDP service discovery structure. Same case or same message, I'm not discussing details. This is in the, your outcome. Your next one. Next one, basically, this is the optimal, optimal gateway selection mechanism. First issue. Optimal gateway first is one. We have discussed We have discussed path establishment feature number two in the help of your aesthetic exlight systems that is your verification or validated will be done. And number three, your interworking function or PST and IP telephony gateway that means the single part in that case would provide the different type of suppose several number of intermediate devices that belongs in between source and destination. So which path is better? How to optimal the system? So in that case, your markup decision process you have considered. Markup decision process, that means this is the control stochastic process satisfying the markup probability means property with cost assigned to the state transition matrix. And you solvability to the dynamic decision making probability systems. And in that case, that is a why this is uh, very much important because that is a in the help of the optimality criteria, you should transmit the data in a superior way. So that's why, in that case, superior way, in terms of anyhow, you need to maximize the revenues. So a markup decision process is a control stochastic process satisfying the market property. Is cost assigned to the state transition. And this is also known as the stochastic dynamic programming that we first started in 1960s. And Markov decision process can be used to build a model and solve the dynamic decision making problems that are multi period to under stochastic circumstances. So, decision model is consists of the portable, like A is the finite set of possible states, and A is the finite. Set of the possible accident. The first state, state transition matrix. State one, state two. Suppose state means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. All arrival rate all arise from state one to state two with rate lambda. After receiving the call arrival, then your state two sending the mu. Mu means this the update value. Okay. So lambda is arrival, but default means your mu. So, four to call one in the state, finite state, possible states are there, finite set of possible states, A is finite set of possible actions, and RSA means the instantaneous cost and reorder function is associated with this for taking action A in state S. And last point, in last parameter, this is that T of S, it is that in probabilistic state transition. So, S0, S1, S2, S3, all arrival, that means this is the A naught, after receiving the call, Arrive at state one and state two. This is release the message. That means depart the message state R zero. So A one arrival R not depart. Okay, like this. Most reorder function means gives the relative measure for the desirability of the various states X and the combination of these. In the help of the cost transition matrix that we need to uh, optimize the data. <clears throat> so here, this is the number of parameters you consider, like A1 mean actual number of calls on going to the gate of gateway one, because of that in between two gateway, but two intermediate devices you have considered uh, when we are applying for MDB message, okay? And after that, you generalize message, you can consider the number of gateways is also in number of uh, gateway also, there is no problem. So A1 means actual number of ongoing calls at the gateway one, and A2 means actual number of ongoing 
means call ongoing at the gateway to our I1 means that means call departed, update response. The number of ongoing calls in the gateway one as per the last update. Our I2 means as per the means number of ongoing calls for G2 as per the last update. Yeah. Any party, any of the participants just inform. Is it audible? Yes, sir. It is audible, sir. Actually, here is some <laughs> rainy, rainy person is doing it. So rainy season okay, is but, already uh, started. Okay, okay. So that's why that is why I don't know that is the signal quality. The many times I have seen that the signal is unstable. Okay. So uh, but we are able to hear, sir. Yeah. Uh, but there is some breaks, but uh, there is some continuity in the voice. I said, we'll just break and then again. Yes, we are getting a clear voice. So stop there is some it. delay, delay in the transmission. Not. Now we are not able to hear you, sir. Now, no voice, sir. Hello, is it audible? No. Yes, sir. Now it started. Okay, okay. So, in that case, that is your different symbols are associated with this, like your EN mean expected discounted, uh, discounted cost, lambda is call arrival rate, lambda I mean is the IP to PSTN, uh, IP to PSTN uh, call rate, lambda not mean PSTN to IP call rate, T means is the total gateway capacity, one by me means average call holding time. Beta means discount factor, alpha means update rate, and PB means a blocking probability, and G means the gain. Okay. Second, suppose you see the Markov decision process based on the logical gateway model. In that case, A and I is there. A means your uh, number of ongoing calls, and I means the update response. So A and I. If call is departed from the state, so that's why A minus one, I is constant. If call arrival, arrival means A, the number of ongoing calls, plus one, comma I, and with rate lambda, and call departed means, this is your update, means number of ongoing calls into mu. If call update means, call update, number of ongoing calls A, and update means I, then the last value is A, A means this is the ongoing call. So three state transition matrix are involved, it's the present state A and I, if call departed, Call arrival and call out. In that case, that is we have measured the blocking probability. And I told you that it is in lambda i number of ongoing calls from one side to another side, lambda not for from reverse side. So some of these over mu means your update rate. So lambda by mu that means the load is lambda not equal to zero. So in that case, we have considered the three tree structure, like in the first if your capacity means your number of ongoing calls and number of uh, update response or belongs under the uh, means zero to T. T means this is the maximum capacity of the system. In that case, that is a, this is the V N plus one AI, that means your discounted cost can be measured in the help of this equation. Here, beta, beta means your, your beta means we have been said, this is the factor, discounted factor actually. So three case we have considered, if it belongs to zero to T, I and A, I means call departed, A means call arrival. Case two, there is no call arrival, but update belongs under the zero to T, T means maximum capacity. Next point, if number of ongoing calls is equal to the capacity of the system, that means the blocking probability also increases. So in that case, that is the cost in cutting one. Okay, packet drop, when packet drop will occur? Uh, in that case, when number of ongoing calls is saturated with the number of capacity, belongs the capacity, T. So in that case, you incur the cost one. And here that is we are also calculating the gain. Gain means that is your lambda means your del one, del one n and del two n is merging at certain point. So del one n means this is a monotonically non-increasing function and monotonically non-decreasing function. Okay, this is the cost, this is the means your discounted factors for number of ongoing calls and update rate based on this. We are present 
minus future present minus uh, uh, past data actually. So that's why monotonically non decreasing function and monotonically non decreasing function in at March at a certain time, if we will get some value, means so G value, that means you can calculate the gain of the system. That means it's converging the point. This is the beauty of the Markov decision process. This is the beauty of the Markov decision process means anyhow you need to keep calculate the gain. Gain means the optimal kind of Gain means it's saturated. Okay. And here the discounted factor beta belongs from 0 to 1. Okay. Next, actually, these are the parameters. T, here T means this is the total capacity of the system. Here means I have considered the 80 cores per system. Beta discounted factor is 1 mu one second alpha one by 30 lambda 60 packets per system and number of ongoing calls and packet arrival rate it belongs to the 0 to 80 80 means total capacity is 80 calls per system so in that case we have measured the blocking probability of continuous type markup chain model and as well as gain of the markup position process you see that today we are getting similar value okay but main difference is that your continuous continuous time market chain model and there is no optimal performance strategy method, but by this MDP, when you are considering the MDP method, here you can apply the optimal criteria in terms of the gain. Okay. See the graphical representation, one side is the blocking probability, another side is the load. So you see that the logical for we are considering the only single gateway. So blocking probability performance against the load for the logical gateway can increase. Okay, blocking probability also increases when load is also. Uh, with respect to the load. So in the previous we have considered the one state state transition matrix. In that case, that is a two state transition matrix we have considered. One is the A1 to I1 for gateway one, A2 and I2 for gateway two. So that's why this is the general state diagram model with the two state uh, two gateways method. Similarly, just we have our ongoing calls to the first gateway number of update rate to the first gateway, number of ongoing calls to the second gateway, number of update calls to the second gateway. So the arrival, update, first one, arrival, update, first gateway, or arrival, update, second gateway. Now both are belongs under the, but belongs up to T1, up to T2. So T1 is 8 calls per system, maximum capacity of the uh, system. Uh, T2 means this is another, uh, means 80 calls per system. That means this is the uh, second gateway. And here, that is a dynamic programming recursive relationship in the Bellman uh, 57, 1957, the invented equation is the most discounted factor. So, and it's the minima, it's the minimum of uh, uh, means your C, C means it's the one step cost incurred in the initial transition matrix. So, CIA in the probabilistic value states J to I with discounted A equal to C. So, that's your probability can move in state ASJ would be provided to you. So in the help of this equation, this is the dynamic recursive model. In the help of this method, you can easily measure the probability of the systems, the actual scenario of the systems. So see, first we have in the past uh, means we have proposed the minimum utilization based selection, actually least utilization. Utilization means the load. What do you mean by load? Load means that is lambda by mu. So lambda by mu means lambda means for arrival over call default. So that means in that case, that is the least utilized scenario is highly recommended. So in that case, your minimum utilization based selection method we have considered in this scenario. So then mathematical cost recur function we have applied <coughs> and three scenario. If your update rate over uh, means your first gateway up as so in that case, that is a one. If greater than zero, is giving zero. And if 0.5, that means it is here one scaling constant is there like a D equal to lambda into capacity into update rate or first gateway, capacity of the second gateway into mean uh, means your departure rate plus alpha one and alpha two uh, for uh, update for arrival rate of gateway one and gateway two respectively. In that case, that is a for value iteration of value function associated value for each state of the non-stationary policy. So here we have measured that is a discounted factor. 
in that case that is we have considered for minimal case maximize case minimal as well as depart and your number of ongoing and uh, depart rate in that case each call is blocked when call is blocked a number of ongoing calls equal to the total capacity of the system gateway one and gateway two so that's why we have assigned the zero value okay so in that case see that is a, in the first logical gateway previously for single gateway this is the bar performance and for multiple gateway scenario your minimum utilization based system gives the better response in this system parameter is same second your probabilistic selection probabilistic selection means suppose p plus p varical uh, p plus p varical zero so means your one so one so in that case your p equal to one minus p bar so that's why if we transmit some data to the one part the base data can be processed to the another part so probabilistic selection of a lower operator using two consecutive least utilization okay two consecutive least utilization in that case that you have applied the probabilistic selection method. so in that case the utilization is inversely proportional to the probability of choosing gateway these are the two parameters and these data can be proportional to the one minus i by t okay so in that case that day we are getting the better call blocking probability systems similarly we have applied the data like a like your multiple trade equal to the capacity of the gateway one and gateway two this is half and this one the one minus this is other way here similar case we have applied the uh, based on this error parameter cost record function we have generated the value function itself. So finally, we see the PSQ means a probabilistic function, the prob probabilistic blocking algorithm gives the better performance with respect to the MOBS minimum yield is utilized. And it is uh, also the logical gateway also. Next, that is the optimal gate. Because of that, this is our interest. The two methods that can be used to determine the optimal policy based on the Howard 1960s proposed. One is the policy iteration, is more complicated but more efficient. Another one is the value iteration, is very much slow but needs many more iterations required. So, optimal gateway selection method we have proposed. So, the best action of for every possible states because can't predict where one will end up. So, continuous time, time question model has no criteria choosing optimality that I told you means informed earlier. It does not support the complicated arrivals and minimize and maximize over long term problems. So, policy may be the finding the optimal policy that minimizes the expected cost. So, see the diagram actually. So, means result. So, here the comparison basically the blocking probability of the performance against the load. So, optimal gateway scenario gives the better response with respect to the minimum, uh, means a minimal utilized based selection and probabilistic selection based utilization. Okay, in the help of the cost record function. Next, another part is that this is another problem, small problem. Here, see that is your SIP means uh, SIP session, session protocol is sending the data. It passes to the locations, LS means so location servers, egress and ingress means ingress means near to your scheduler. One index here means I have proposed this uh, routing and scheduling part. So that's a blue and yellow means box I have mentioned. And this data process to the path one. Path one means the gateway one. One intermediate device with lambda p. So another path is lambda p bar. This data is processed to the gateway. Mu two and mu one, that means the update rate possibility. N one and two means the number of trans because we are discussing the telecommunication. So that's why your number of trans are associated with this for gateway one and gateway two. And d one and d two, that means the distance. So, so distance means you know that you can use a manhattan distance, Euclidean distance, in the help of this kind of distance matrix, you can generate the cost of it. And here, this is your target location is there, it's the three bodies. Okay. So, see in the first expression for blocking probability calculation. And you know that the blocking probability can be measured using the Arlon P formula. So, in that case, this is the first expression, means phi n1, phi n2. So total blocking probability P block means this one plus this one. So that means it means your pi uh, probability of 
pi n1 plus p bar into you know, this one, that means this is the f1 p. And if there is delay, if there is delay, this is the expression, means your p into one minus of this one, means your pi n1 into distance plus object d1 plus one by mu. Similarly for this one, that means this is the f2p. So see, the first case, your f1 means the total blocking probability of this gateway. And number two, this is the average delay. The data to the Q line. But performance matrix, or specifically for measuring the routing cost function, here I have added the Or arrival initial is the parameter traffic split path one lambda p split path two lambda p bar. Then you calculate the blocking probability pi n one. Calculate the blocking probability pi n two. Sum of all block then p block. This block is coming to this this platform. Average limit here we are adding some weighting function for normalize the data. Then we are generating the cost function. We we'll measure the p value. Justify cost function is optimized. Question is no, then reverse. If yes, then this is going to the next block. Block this is one of the optimal packet or optimal scenario. Okay. Next. In that case, we are assigning. So far. Two cases we have considered if your network structure is symmetric structure, then what is the pattern? Symmetric load that means you see the diagram, the blue color, and in asymmetric set, asymmetric set means suppose your distance is very symmetric case, distance somehow is watched. Okay. So in the cost function uh, expression, we have this is the computational case, and in that case, this is the total equation. We see from weighting function is associated with uh, with means your blocking probability with update rate, okay. And this scenario, next experiment, experimental case, just number of trans equal to four I have mentioned for symmetric mode, clear? So in that case, see, we are getting the value of P equal to 0 0.50. For asymmetric load, we are getting 0.53. See, the variation. So symmetric case and asymmetric case. So graphically, you see this interface of uh, uh, means this is the result cost function with a, a p and the cost means cost function with the a p with respect to the blocking probability is the cost the different value of p if number of primes equal to four and number of primes equal to six in the both cases these are the representation and you see the 0 0.50 0 0.5 here symmetric symmetric we are getting equal to 0 0.5 that means this is the minimal the minimal blocking probability can be possible at 0.5 for symmetric case. If and if you consider the asymmetric case, we are getting 0.53. Okay, so that's the assumption for weighted symmetric probabilistic routing optimizes the cost function, which is a linear combination of the loss and delay. Okay, and cost is more symmetric, asymmetric loading. Actually, for measuring the performance, suppose you can say the means your class of our quality of the service first you need to measure the delay and variation of the two consecutive delay this is known as the jitter so delay plus jitter plus packet loss plus throughput reliability flexibility dot 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 each and every parameter sum of these this is known as the quality of the service or greater service or class of service also okay so next that in the first part we have discussed the what is the advanced model but advanced That, that is a how to provide, or how to establish the path initiation method, how to provide the optimal features, optimal path selection method in the help of the Markov decision theory. So that's why if you would like to optimize the path, so in that case, that is a, your call waiting time is very much less. Call congestion and blocking probability also be minimized. Customer can be benefited, can be satisfied. So you, you can generate the revenue, you can maximize the revenue of the system. So in that case, there will be a Okay. So 
our objective is that that is a anyhow whatever we have discussed our objective that is anyhow we have to minimize the congestion level we have to minimize the blocking problem so gateway selection schemes were proposed using the mdp and uh, as well as we have compared with the continuous time marketing model also for getting the it gives the better response in terms of the getting the optimal performance robust traffic engineering schemes presented like your lambda p and lambda fever and here for asymmetric and symmetric case both are all, all also we consider for measure the end to end performance for open loop arnold is creating best routing strategy best quality of service performance is achieved and is validate the model within the means of slide in the slide in the asterisk server like the simulation also okay. so thank you Thank you, sir, for your uh, wonderful session on uh, the telecommunication, how the things have been done. Yes. That is just too, too many numerical methods are involved. And yes. all, online, there will be a problem. I, I know that is a, most of us having some problem related to the uh, mathematical equation, but it is very much easy. Try to understand, it means your basics of the mark of decision model. And uh, my general paper is also uh, all then side also, so you can find and go through. Then because of uh, the maximize of the region. So what is the region? So telecommunication, there is no model is standard. There is no standard. As per your requirement, you need to develop your model based on your requirement. So and from this point of view, you need to generate the different kind of scope of your so here I am discussing because of that for how to minimize the congestion and blocking probability level, how to maximize the revenue. Okay. So, uh, anything, uh, what are the softwares uh, used in MATLAB, Simulink? MATLAB, MATLAB will be used for some person, another person, uh, MATLAB is most clearly used. Another one tool is uh, uh, in some testing point of view, the asterisk server means suppose SIP some platform is there. Opnet. Okay. Op Opnet I used. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the license version and that I am moving taken. So it is better when nowadays people are working for NS2 also and call them. But Opnet IT group version is the free version. So if you want, then anyone can do this uh, some test work. Opnet IT group means searching to do it. And through, now I uh, don't have any knowledge if it's free or not, but uh, you try to uh, download for uh, check it. It's the optimized network solution. Any possibility you can work uh, this software on uh, Python or uh, any some open source software? Exactly. Actually, yes. I, I mentioned actually one language is abstract syntax. Notice in 2006, I have started and learned. But today, people are working for Python. Python is better for abstract modeling, for data visualization. Uh, so in that way, and this data can be molded up with the I means so IoT cloud platform. So my suggestion is that, that you, know, you can try, uh, better first try any any of the network simulator. First date is, uh, test it. Your first phase of work is completed, and then you can map with the Python to program for bigger solution, for interference, for any other scope, for app design. So Python is better. But first, you need to implement in your uh, simulator. NS2 network simulator, uh, different person is coming. Opnet is there. Uh, it means your callnet is also be there. So you start, maybe the other suitable uh, person will also be there also. Okay. okay, so thank you, sir. From the participants, any questions from the related to telecommunications? Participants, requesting participants to unmute yourself. And if you have any question, or you can post it in the chat window. Otherwise, you can send the message also, and I will very clear later no problem. Whatever you have, if you are doing some work on the market decision process, you'll just contact me, and your coordinator ma'am is there, and definitely I will give you the means your offline help, no problem. So my. Uh, 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 objective is that try to do something innovative in the telecommunication domain 
and try to think. Your mind focus the routing and scheduling basically. Okay. Sir, as your profile says that you are into the medical also. Oh, actually, it's my journey. Is any, no, no, any actually, application related to yeah. IoT to exactly. medical? Yes, sir. Actually, it means uh, I did master's in telecommunication and IoT basically. And in my PhD domain, I converted to telecommunication to the telemedicine systems. <laughs> it's very okay. interesting. So in my BTEC, BTEC second year uh, onwards, this is my core domain in the telecommunication and networking and wireless companies. And I mean, strap your CCNP and uh, the CCN. Telecom and Datacom, wireless, this is core of, my, core of my heart. But from PhD onwards in 2011 onwards, I have uh, started my work in, tele, in telemedicine, mHealth, eHealth. And 2017 onwards, I'm um, fully concentrating on the internet of medical things, basically. And uh, uh, so, medical and health informatics, this is, this is my present research area. But uh, this is somehow, this is my previous work. And I'm very much thankful to you for giving the opportunity to explore my work. Thank you, sir. Uh, this, uh, have you applied for any medical application, sir? Telemedicine? Exactly. Whatever the research work uh, you are... No, no, Definitely. this is very good. If anyone would like to work, and then definitely means I will get Because of that, I don't have much time to work and that is for maintaining the standard and coding in nowadays. So, this is the main problem. Otherwise, why not? Your standard method is there. Markup vision process, that is the most uh, most suitable techniques. And this is the one of the main major optimality. And here, and in the use of this um, MDP, you can generate the optimal battery also. So how to transmit the health information through your telecom system? So definitely, uh, you can use the MDP joint. If anyone is there and is interested, you can, okay. you can do something. Definitely, sir, as there are no questions in the chat window. Thank you so much, sir, for your uh, valuable insight into how uh, we can do a lot of uh, work in the telecommunication area also. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for uh, uh, giving us your valuable time in your busy schedule. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very thank much for inviting me. This is a big opportunity. But one problem point is that that is a very you know interaction with the students. So this is the main problem. I am very yes, much sir. active for offline. Yes. Yeah, sir. Online in the sitting in the chair and this one I am not comfortable with. This. Okay, ma'am. No, okay, okay, we are okay. we were we were forced to do this, sir, because uh, no, no, I understand. I, I, I understand. But but the main problem is that I am not a sitting person. I am very much yes. dynamic. Okay. I'm a sportsman spirit, basically. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all the participants. Uh, we will join in the afternoon session by 12.50 sharp. Uh, the speaker is uh, Dr. Srinivas Cherla, Director from uh, RICH, that is uh, Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad.